In this movie, let's continue working with sections, our top level organizers. Let's go over here. Here is our remote site that we installed Joomla on with no sample data. Let's go to the administrative side and let's put some sections together back there. Remember when we were creating this site, we talked about a site plan and in our site plan, we're going to have like a help section and a virtual connection section. So what we want to do is create a brand new section and this one is going to be help. The alias, we can automatically let Joomla assign it. You'll notice, see how it gives you the little pop-up and explains these areas to you. Whether or not we want the section published, I want this published. If we want them at the public level, registered users or special users like authors and editors, I'm going to leave it at the public level. Whether or not I want an image, and where I want that image if I select one. Then down here is our little tiny MCE editor. This is your WYSIWYG what you see is what you get editor. What you want to do is make sure that you go through that at this point so you're ready for it in all the subsequent movies. Know how to use it in the categories and articles especially. Right here we can type a description of the help section. So in the help section we're going to have how to categories let's just call it how to articles and then we're also going to have tips so we can put that description in there you don't have to if you pretty much know what it's for but once the site gets bigger and bigger sometimes it's hard to remember so it's not a bad idea to put a little description in there up here you have your typical bold italic underline and your strike through those little tips will pop up for you you have your alignment options styles if you want to have specific styles and of course your different fonts right here is your bulleted list and your numbered list you have your increase and decrease in dents you have your undo button I can undo that if I decided I wanted that in there and then I can redo it if I change my mind again we've got our links if you have any www dot whatever you can edit those or break them anchors anchors are elements within the same document so if I refer to something at the bottom of my document at the top I can anchor that and make it go to that exact spot if I want to insert images, I can clean up our coding. I can edit the HTML source if you can read HTML coding in the background. If I need to find something specific, find and replace, inserting the date, quick and easy so I don't have to do that myself. Inserting the time if I want to put that in there. And of course little emoticons if you want to click that you can get all kinds of them in there. Embedded media if you want to have any video audio something to that effect. Directions. Inserting layers if we want to move things forward or backward maybe we have a logo and we need to move it to the back. Toggle our positioning levels and colors here. And the bottom row this is going to deal with our tables and information here if we want a divider we want a ruler right here is our subscript and our superscript custom characters if we have certain little odd characters sometimes like the sense sign you need that in there or you need a certain character for a certain language to pop in that's where you're going to grab that at again your horizontal rule so you've got a ruler here and you've got a horizontal rule there where you can set how wide it's going to be if you want it to have a shadow or no shadow something like that I'm going to take all that out of there right now and then if we want a table we'll do many things with the rest of this and then the rest of this is going to give you lots of table elements and properties to deal with toggling to full screen mode and of course editing your CSS style so there's a lot of elements in here just pop through them make sure you know where they're at at this point as we continue working through all the different elements of Joomla like the articles especially we'll definitely use a lot of these and you'll actually get more work with those to learn them better
So I'm going to go ahead and save my help section. And then I'm going to make that virtual connection section. I'm going to leave these as the defaults. And then I'm going to put in here the categories within this section are social networks and website linking. I'm going to save that. And we're good to go. We've got our two sections. We have no categories in there or active articles, but we have our sections ready to go. You're not going to see any big exciting change on your front page because we've just created the sections. We don't have any elements added in here to actually see anything yet. So in the next movies, we're going to keep working with our data so we can finally get some information on that page.